This is a short episode in a series focused on migrating from MT4 to MT5. This is going to be a brief coding tutorial that talks you through how to access indicator values from your expert advisors in MT5 compared with the process you used to take in MT4. And there'll be many more of these tutorials in the future, so keep an eye out for them. But for now, let's get into today's topic. So I'm going to use the Bollinger Bands indicator as the example. And in MQL4, it's a case of making a call to the appropriate function. So in this case, it's the I-Bands function, passing it details of the symbol, the period, the parameters you want to use, the model for the price, the buffer you want to use. So in this case, you can use either upper or lower, for example, and also passing in the bar number that you're interested in. So bar zero being the current bar, bar one being the previous bar. You can then simply store those values in any double variable. And in this example, I'm just outputting them to the screen. So if I now run this in MT4, you can see the values here coming out for the upper and lower current values and the upper and lower for the previous values for bar one. And using the data window down here, if we hover over bar zero, you can see those values and see that they match what we're writing out from our expert advisor. So now let's take a look at what's different when using MQL5. So the main difference here is that you have to set up a handle to your indicators before you can start to use any values from them. Now you only have to do that once. And so I'd recommend you do it as part of your on init function, which of course gets called when you instantiate your EA. And you can see here that I'm setting that handle, passing similar values to what we saw in MQL4, where we're passing the symbol, the period, the parameters, and the price basis. I then store that handle in a global variable so that I can then access it from any other part of my code. A quick bit of error checking to make sure that the handle has been set up correctly. If it hasn't, then I choose to terminate the EA because I don't want to continue. And it just writes out a message to say why the EA has failed. Otherwise it returns in it succeeded and the EA continues. Now the next big difference is how you ascertain the values of the indicators. And this involves copying the values from the indicator set up with the handle into a local buffer or a local array. And you do that using a function called copy buffer. So the parameters here indicate that I want to copy values from the Bollinger Bands handle that I set up in on init. In this case, I'm interested in the upper band. And then the next two parameters determine which values and how many values get passed back into the local buffer. So as you can see here, I'm saying that I want two values. And so they will then be copied into this buffer upper, which is declared here. Now, if that works correctly, then the number of bars that are set is returned from the function. And so it's a simple case of checking that the number of bars is equal to the number of bars that you requested. And then you know that that's been successful. If it isn't, then you need to handle that as an error as you see fit in your EA. Now, I like to handle data in MQL5 in the same way that it was handled in MQL4, where bar zero represents the most recent bar, bar one is the bar before that, and so on. And so to manipulate the data in the same way, you need to run this command here, which is array set as series, and to set that to true. And with that done, the values we need are now populated, for example, in buffer upper zero, buffer lower zero, and then buffer upper one, buffer lower one. These first ones here being the current bar and these being the previous bar. So if we now run this EA in MT5, you'll see in the same way as before, we're outputting the current values for the upper and lower bands, the previous values for the upper and lower bands. And if we hover over the current bar, you can see those values are matched in the data window. 
Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. Uh, please do remember to give me a like and to share a link and also remember to subscribe so that you're notified when future videos are released. And so now until next time, trade safe.